Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe was quick to condemn North Korea's latest provocation, stressing that it was a top priority for the international community. Tokyo's since been in contact with the U.S., and together they've pledged to get China to put more pressure on the regime. Kwon Jang-ho has this report. The U.S. and Japan have agreed to find ways to apply more pressure on North Korea in light of Monday morning's missile test. Japan's Kuro News reported that U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson spoke with Tokyo's Foreign Minister Fumio Kishida over the phone to discuss Pyongyang's latest provocation. The two also agreed that they will push China to act further in reining in the regime. This sentiment was echoed at a press briefing by the Chief Cabinet Secretary earlier in the day. It is necessary to apply pressure. As agreed at the U.S.-Japan meeting held at the G7 summit, it is not the time for dialogue for dialogue's sake. While China's role is also important. That role is expected to come up when Japanese officials meet with Chinese state councillor and senior diplomat Yang Jiechi later on Monday. Yang is on a scheduled trip to Tokyo, where the main topic of discussion was already set to be North Korea, but this latest provocation is said to add further urgency to the meeting. Kenji Kanasugi, Japan's representative for the six-party talks, is also said to have made calls to his U.S. counterpart, Joseph Yun. They agreed that North Korea's actions cannot be tolerated and that they need to work closely with the U.N. and South Korea to form a strong response. Kwon Jang-ho, Arirang News.